Guys, in this video, we have a error, and it's a lamp error. So let's go back here. Playing with the settings. Okay, guys, so here's what I've done. Um, didn't catch all this on video, don't, don't like to waste a lot of time. But basically, I took the display board from a good working uh, Beam 230, and now I'm connecting it to the one that was not working, that was giving me all of those errors with the light. So, so far I know this board is good, this board is good. Now, I believe the problem is with this board. So, I took out the old one. Uh, I have it right here. I actually wrote bad on it. I'm going to go take a look at it, see if there's any components that looks bad. But I'm going, I'm going to test another board. So I believe this is the problem. Uh, the error that I was getting, it was complaining about the light. I could never get the light to go on. And I know the light bulb. I know the light bulb is not bad. And I also know that the fans around the light is working all of the fans around the lights are working so for me the problem is with this controller here so if you have a similar problem complaining about motor error or motor light error uh, literally um, I was getting more light error uh, errors but I could tell that the motor is working as you can see the motor is always working around the light, so that is not a problem. So anytime you have an issues like that, is definitely this board. You can inspect and see what's wrong with it, but at the end of the day, you probably just want to buy a new one. Okay, so look at that. This baby is working. I'm going to make some noise. It's in sound mode right now. Look at that. It works great. I'm not getting no errors at all. See, no errors. So I know that board is bad. So that is what I'm going to find another board or try to repair this one. Good luck.